Hello everyone, we continue to the platformer game series. In the previous video, we made camera follow system. In this video, we are gonna add light and shading to the game. Let's get started. First, let's remove the gap between the player and the ground. If there is a gap between your objects, you can solve it with this method. I'll check the player's collider first. I'll disable the background to see the collider more clearly. We can shrink the player's collider a little bit. Let's start the game and see the change. Looks a little better, but as you can see, there is still gap. So I'll reduce contact offset. Open edit window. Project settings. Select physics studio. Let's reduce contact offset and start the game to see change. I think we have reduced it too much. Let's increase a little. Start the game again. Looks good. The player may sometimes get a little bit into the ground when falling from above. In this case, the player may seem to touch the wall and change direction. In order to avoid such a situation, I will reduce the wall check area a little. I add temporary collider to see wall check area. I'll move it up a little. Open character controller script and update this value. Save and back to Unity. Remove temporary collider and start the game. Nice, gap removal completed. Now it's time for the main topic. For the lighting system, we must first install the Universal RP package. Click on Window, Package Manager, select Universal RP and click on Install. Installation may take some time. Ok, installation is completed. I will create URP asset on the project panel. Rename it URP. Then I open the edit window and click project settings. I drag and drop the URP asset we created to here. Click on continue and close the panel. I will add global light to the scene. Right click on the hierarchy panel. We added light to our scene, but nothing changed. In order for our objects to be affected by light, we must change their material of sprite. I will change the material to sprite lit default. If you cancel sprite lit default option, click this icon. As you can see, the player is now affected by light. I will apply the same process to other objects. Okay, now all objects are affected by light. Make sure the light icon is active to see the light effect on the scene screen. Let's learn the shading. I wanna make a different scene for this video. Select this scene and copy it with Ctrl the shortcut. Select new scene. I'll erase all the walls on the scene. Then I will drag a wall image onto the scene. I'm gonna add a spotlight to the scene. I adjust the size of the light. We added light to the scene. But as you can see no shadow was cast behind the wall object. We must do two more presses for shadow. First process select the light and enable shadows feature. Second process select the wall and add shadow caster 2D component. Ok, shadow formed. You can customize the shadow caster. 
Let's see how to shade this scene made using tile palette. I'll make a sample scene by using tile palette. The sample scene is ready. Let's add a spotlight to the scene. Start the game in the status. As you can see, there are no shadows on the scene yet. I'll add shadow caster to the tile map. As you can see, shadow caster has been added as a whole. So I'll add one by one manually. The shadow caster is ready. We have to enable shadow feature of the spotlight. We can adjust the strength of the shadow. Start the game. Let's add Shadow Caster to the player. Start the game again. It's cool. We are gonna make a moving platform in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.